Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading is for July 20th, 2020 and it falls at a perfect time. This is what I had planned because this is a new moon reading and we have a new moon on July 20th. So we're going to tap into this energy and we're going to try and get the most that we can, the most potential from it to get the best and most accurate um, information for you and messages. This being said, this new moon reading here is for the sign of Leo. But I do have a warning, it is still a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. Please do take what resonates with you and leave the rest aside. If it doesn't feel right, it doesn't belong to you. Um, if you would like to have your own personal reading, your own questions, your life, your situation, please do contact me for some information at romancefultarot at gmail.com. On another note, if you do enjoy my channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do join the family and subscribe to my channel and um, show me that you support my channel and then you'll receive all the wonderful readings that I do throughout the week. So um, let's begin this reading. No further ado. Uh, I have, It's a three card spread. Let's see what's going on in love, what we're going to receive, what you have to work on, what's going on all together. So I have communication is key, new moon in Gemini, a new start is coming and I have uh, it's time to take action. Okay, so we're going to begin here with the very first card, which is communication is key. And this is your new moon in Gemini card. And voila. So, you know, a successful relationship it doesn't, you know, this is not new information to anybody, but it usually comes down to one thing. It's communication. And the new moon here in Gemini card is all about the start of a new cycle for communicating with the person at the center of your question. So your partner. Now, um, talking things through is the answer to whatever it is that you're asking about right here. Um, if you can't talk to that person, you can journal about it to yourself. You can email yourself, text, you can write a message. You know, any other forms of communication is also going to help you out right now. Um, if the issue you're asking about concerns a sibling or a neighbor, there's a new start that's coming also. Um, this card here could also suggest that you've been too frivolous lately and you need to get grounded again. But most importantly, this really, really means that you need to emphasize, in, to emphasize the need to communicate. Um, maybe write a list of all the people that you love the most and see if you're prioritizing them. Um, try to tell someone how you feel. And don't be all in your head and um, more into your heart. Let your heart speak. The heart always speaks the truth and it's so much easier just to speak from the heart. So try that and try making a little list of prioritizing the people that you love in your life and uh, see if you're, you know, giving them the love that you want them to have. So then I have a new start is coming here with a new moon. And now this card here suggests that, you know, there's a Yes. I mean, you can't get really any better card out of this deck than this one. This one means the yes. So there's a yes that's coming your way. This is one of the most auspicious cards in the deck. It's totally positive and suggests something new and exciting is developing for you. Now, the situation you're asking about is blessed and you're on target to achieve your goals. Now, the message from the universe is that you're starting all over again but in some way, not all over all to the very beginning, you know, just in some ways. So be that on a new or better course or just feeling more positive about achieving your desired outcome. Now, if you've been feeling kind of stagnant, okay, this card reminds you that life just goes around in circles all the time. It's a cycle and you're moving into a new cycle right now. This is the time to wipe the slate clean. And if the situation you asked for has become toxic, either you're going to clear it up right now by wiping that slate clean or, you know, something totally new and fresh is on its way. So this is all about a new start is on its way. You're soon going to start to feel more hopeful and getting what you want. Now, your belief that your dream can manifest is working well. And please, 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 please. Forget about your past. So many of us were always attached to our past and it's okay to keep the memories. It's okay to, you know, keep some goodness. We do have always some good in every relationship. You need to get rid of anything that is toxic out of it. Um, and now we're going to move over to it's time to take action with a, um, a new moon in Aries. Okay. So the new moon in Aries here, I'm just going to place this right over here for you, is uh, the flame is lit. 
a wonderful new start beckons and you're on the right track. So, you know, drawing this card is just a superbly positive sign that there's something you want to happen into your life right now. Take this card as a big yes from the universe, okay? You have gotten two yeses. Um, take this card as a big yes. This is the time to really tune into your dreams. You may still have a long way to go, okay? Uh, but you're on your way. Determination, self-assertion, and bravery are all called, called for. But the hot fire of Aries is driving you towards success in whatever endeavor you're asking about. The caution, don't go too fast. And forget your manners. Treat people um, well. As you charge towards your goals, you'll create um, much better karma for yourself here, okay? So this is all about don't even think about giving up. Do not think about it. You're not. Do not. Um, you know, and this is do your best and be happy with, with that, with your very best. Um, avoid being brash right now. And this is all about, um, there's a, a new male that is coming into your life here, perhaps. And uh, you do need, though, a 12-month plan. This is what I, uh, the warning that I do have here is you do need a 12-month plan. So, you know, time to start doing that 12-month plan now. Um, I do wish you a fantastic day. This does conclude your new moon reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some interesting information. Um, if you would like to have a private reading, romancefultarot, gmail.com. And in the meanwhile, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we'll be seeing each other very soon for, you know, during the week for my other readings. Have a great day and many blessings to you.